Well, welcome to another episode of Pirates Code Garage. Now, I said I was going to do it, and you can tell by the stack of tires out there. I put a more period correct rim to me on the Cougar. I've got a 17 by 10 torque thrust D in the back. I don't have the center caps on yet, but uh, and 17 by 7 in the front. I think the back ones have let's see, zoom in here. They are T20 or 255 50 R17s, which make it snug. Look real nice and snug in there. It's a nice and tight fit, but still has room. Now on the front, when I get around here, I'll zoom back a little bit and see. But these are just some tires I found. That there are two twenty-five, sixty-five, or seventeens, and and they're a little snug, a little too snug for my liking. Uh, eventually, we'll be doing a Shelby drop on this car, so it'll it'll tuck the front end back down a little bit. And coilovers, that's a possibility too. But uh, make sure I don't get too much glare on this. There we go. As you can tell, the front end sits high, as they did from the factory. But uh, no more two torque thrust twos. These are actually they belong to the guy I bought them from. I think those are 16 by five or four and a half on the front, and they had the uh, 17 by 10 in the back. BF good, get y'all knows, but uh. I went with Nittos on the back, and I'm just playing with the size on the front for right now. But, uh, I think my next thing is I'm a, I might do some body work. Might change out the front fenders or something. Not with the next few weeks, but, you know, as we start getting into cooler months, because it is nice and warm right now. Even though it is getting a little cooled off, but that stance though, I, I was never a fan of the Cougars having the front end high. And with the 16s on the front, it actually had the, uh, the nose down. So uh, there's very little Shelby drop videos for Cougars, but uh, I'm going to make one obviously when I get around to it. She just looks good. That's more period correct to me. These, as much as I like torque thrust twos and these torque thrust Ds, just they give it just the right look. The more period correct, in my opinion. The I'm gonna need to get some windows up in there and need to get the front fender extensions on. But when I swap the fenders to 67s, so I don't have that marker light. Give it a little smoother look. I'll get the front balance on, bumper on. I'm going to take, it had the chrome piece down here. No, well, I have it over there to the side, but I'm going to take all those plastic tabs off. Smooth it out. And she's obviously going to need a paint job, but that's eventual. It's not immediate, so. It's all in the fun, right? But, uh, 68, big block. Eventually, I might do a wheel run on it. As much as I love engines, and uh, if you know anything about starting an engine with rust in it, you're pretty much destroying the engine. But we'll see what happens. Might do a wheel run on it, not for sure. If I do, it ain't gonna run for a long period of time. It's gonna run for a short more period of time. And then I'm gonna pull that engine right out, rework the whole thing, top to bottom, maybe some aluminum heads. She's gonna have some pep in her. And hopefully she's a little bit more snug to the road but i'll have some fun now it's time to cover her up thanks for watching like share subscribe comment i like talking see y'all later thanks for watching